Welcome back friends. My name is Brian and I am back in the garage once again. So if you watch this channel, you may have seen a video that I posted recently where I restored a mid nineties Bianchi race bike. It was actually a, a, a top of the line race bike from that era. Uh, that bike had a neat little feature. It was a little tab under the top tube that was intended for use as a number plate. Now, back in the 90s, the numbers used to be placed under the top tube. These days, bicycles now have those number plates mounted towards the back of the bike, usually on the uh, seat post, sometimes on the rear brake mount, on the uh, pivot point for the brake mount on the rear, but most of the time, because of disc brakes, they are mounted on the uh, rear seat post. I, I searched the internet all over trying to find a number plate, retro style, that would go with my bike. And let me tell you, I went from one end of the internet to the other and could not find a stupid number plate anywhere. So me being me, I decided I was going to make my own and also me being me, I decided to make it as hard as possible on myself and as cool as possible by making it out of carbon fiber. So when I was making it, I started thinking like maybe somebody who is out there who wants to tackle their own simple carbon fiber project might benefit from seeing what I did on this one. So I went ahead and made some video clips for it. So it's a fairly simple job in terms of carbon fiber as there's no foam core support or anything like that, no mold making. So I thought, you know, if you're out there and you got some idea you want to start working with carbon fiber this is a great project to start with so that's about it so anyway hope you enjoy it this is an easy watch it's all done in time lapse so i think it's a pretty easy watch and i hope that you enjoy it and get something from it thanks so much
All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, kind of a fun little project, and as you probably saw, it's a little bit harder in execution than it seems in conception, because it looks like just a little number play is no big deal, but of course, it's a lot of steps, a lot of things to do to build something like that. If you want to do your own, I listed all of the uh, descriptions and all the links for all the parts that I used in this video, all the components. Uh, the floor tile uh, that I used and a piece of glass, I covered those with clear bra material, which I just happened to have laying around. That is a barrier that keeps carbon fiber from sticking to things. So I've used garbage bags, saran wraps, and other things for that, but that's what I used on that. Uh, anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to get out there and tackle your own composite projects, this is a great one to cut your teeth on. Very straightforward and simple. And it's an easy way to get out there and master your garage.